What's up everyone? It's currently 7.19 a.m. I did not wake up. I actually haven't slept. Um, sometimes I just stay up for no reason. I don't know why. Um, but I had an idea for a video and or like a series, I guess. Um, I have a lot of time now that I'm not screaming at stuff. So um, this video came to mind. Uh, I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. I kind of just started recording. Uh, probably just gonna not edit it at all. Just literally record, talk about, talk about what I want to talk about, and just upload it. Um, but basically, it's gonna be like a series where I kind of just give you guys my thoughts, like day to day, um, on things going on in the community. Um, not really like a, I guess it's kind of like a podcast. Um, not really like a news show or anything. Just kind of like a online sort of mental diary um about call of duty <laughs> doesn't really always have to be about call of duty basically a video where i could do whatever the hell i want but um this one i really want to talk about roster speculation and uh go over some speculative rosters that i've seen on reddit um obviously i'm in the know and i know certain things so um but that doesn't mean take anything I say as a fact. Like, I don't really know exactly what the hell is going to happen. People don't tell me contrary to what you guys think. Um, I don't really actually know what's going to happen. But um, I'm going to go over some sort of team, some of these teams, and see maybe what was going wrong for them, at least on paper. Because I'm not on the team. I don't know the relationships and stuff like that or... You know, I'm not, I don't watch every single map or match, so I don't really know who's making somebody play comfortable, who's making somebody uncomfortable, stuff like that. I can only go based on what I can see and visually, visually see, excuse me, and um, yeah, so here we go. Um, let's start with Dallas, right? All the way back to Dallas. So we got... TK, Splice, Optic, Phase, Aquafox, EU, LG, Envy, right? So LG actually starts the season pretty slow. EU, sixth place again. Aquafox, brand new team, not a bad placing. Phase, fourth. Optic, third. Splice, second. TK, first, right? So Optic starts the season decent. Um, obviously, you get top three. At some point, you had a chance to win the tournament. Remember, they got mopped by Splice here. Um, but... Um, TK wins that in dominating fashion. They were just ahead of everybody. Let's go look at the Dallas stats. Let's take a look at Optic. Uh, all right, so Damon starts the season off with a .91. It's obviously not too good. It's tough to do when you have players. I mean, it's it's tough to have like a really good KD when you have players like this doing that, you know? Um, he has a 0.94 hard point KD, 0.75. See, this is the type of thing where it kind of concerns me. I'm not going to get too strong up on this because this is the first event. But, like, if you're going to be, like, stacking in the sling and respawn, like, you got to kind of pick it up in S&D, you know? CTF, they play pretty good. So, let's look at their... Where's their map percentage wins at? Is that on here? Okay, yeah. I right, hard point nine and four, S D four and three, CTF five and three. It's like nothing overwhelmingly impressive here. I bet you a lot of these hard point wins came from pool play and stuff like that. So um S D is looking pretty bad. Um but yeah, I mean this is a typical stat line we've seen from Optic over the last like three years. Um and they've won with this type of silence, so I'm not going to read too much into that. It could be just like a first event thing. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the next event. All right, so next event we have uh, Nola, right? Yeah, Nola. So TK wins this one. Optic doesn't even get top eight of this one. Um, they actually get 9th through 12th, so something went wrong from top 3 to top 12. So, this event was in January, January 12th to 14th. And this event was 
So exactly a month after this tournament, Optic got tremendously worse. Well, he's had a tremendously worse placing. And we're gonna look at the stats and see if it reflects it. So no, uh, I mean, obviously your pool and stuff like that reflects it, but we're not really gonna go over that at the moment. So the S&D improved drastically, uh, obviously a smaller sample size, but uh, similar stat line here. Damon improves in S and D. Their S and D is a lot better. Matt has an incredible search and destroy event. Um, Damon once again lacking in the kill category. Um, his slayer rating actually went down in this tournament. So, I mean, yeah, is Damon underperformed both of these? I mean, look at their pool. I mean, look at their pools actually. So they actually went 4 0 pool play in NOLA. Going into the bracket right away, Optic plays Echo Fox and they lose right away. And they play red and they lose again right away. So no luck in the bracket for them. They don't really lose. To, I mean, this is when red went on that historic run, but like Echo Fox is not a team Optic should be losing to, especially after going 12 and 1 map count in pools. So. Our pool actually was not that good. My team was not that good. Envy was not that good. Vitality and Epsilon. So for the stats to be like that, doesn't really impress me that much. Um, but we'll move on once again. Can't take too much away from the first few events here. So after that, we go into stage. Was it stage or was it Atlanta before that? Let me look at the timeline. It's not even on here. I think Atlanta was before stage one. Let me see. Yeah, it was. Okay, so yeah, Atlanta was before this event. So Optic actually gets sixth. Minor improvement. Third, 12th to sixth. Still, it's not a team you want to see here. You see these other teams bouncing around. It's like you see Red bouncing around in that top three. Rise gets an event win. LG starting to solidify themselves as the top team. Envy breaks in, United still top six, TK falls off a little bit. So you see teams starting to show like their true colors here, their talent, like TK is not to be messed with, they're still pretty good. Um, my team is now two top eight placing, so we're like a really average team. Optic is, you don't really know what to think about them at this point. Um, forward towards them again. So this is where you see them start to really drop the ball. Matt actually has a pretty bad event. This is where people started grinding the game, and I think Optic really stopped playing as much as they should. Um, as you can see, their S&D falls back into that negative ratio. Or they're not good at it again. Their CTF gets worse. Hardpoint always remains pretty good. Um, this is a team who should always be good at hardpoint. I mean, they have years of chem on it. Uh, Damon, once again, has a pretty bad... KD overall, really bad hard point KD. At this point, I think he's probably just really frustrated with the team. Krim's got to be frustrated too because he's been performing really good. I think he's had over 1.1 in all these, so he's got to be getting frustrated. I'm actually going to look at who was in their group here. So I think they must have had a tougher group if Damon. Yeah, so if you see Optic has Phase, EU, Era, Heretics. They win their group again, which is something they're really good at, but they have teams that are testing them. So they went 12-1 and one in the last group at NOLA, and they go 10-5 and five here, map count. You notice um, they play teams who can make runs in these tournaments. Uh, Era actually beat them a lot, so Era wasn't too good of a team, but they were good against Optic. And what this shows is that, like, Damon, it was underperforming because, like I said, it could be something with that team. I think he'll be really good on another team, but... The last KD at that we looked at for Nolo, it was improved from the other one, but like not really because the sample size of teams was much worse. Like the teams that they played, their competition was worse. So in this one, they played better teams and his KD's really bad. He's not getting enough kills. So they play is a good amount of maps to take from here. 10, 10 hardpoint maps, 0.78. 
And they're winning hardpoint though, so should I really even look at that? You know, it's tough. Then I'll get something like S and D. So Matt's a little bit at fault here. His S and D is not good. CTF, they're almost all under one besides Karim. See so yeah, a lot going wrong for this team. All right. Now, stage one, right? This is where we thought Optic was coming together. This is where they're, they're getting really good, playing better. So this is a stat you see from Optic when they steamroll and win a tournament. Their S&D still has not improved. It seems like they've made, like, no steps to improve their search and destroy gameplay. Damon, once again, with a really bad search KD. It's something that I don't know what they're doing wrong, but... Like, that's where they could have excelled. Like, their hard point has been really good it's been above like they've been above 500 or maybe that's not the fucking term but they've been 2.0 in every single hard point their s and has been so bad um let's go actually look at stage one on here Can i even do that i think i can yeah i can all right, so stage one. I think it's second, right? We think they're improving a lot. Um, they have a really good regular season, right? We can attribute that to this, right? Like this is something. This is what you want to see out of Optic. Um, they can breeze by and win a tournament with an eight and eight S and D. I mean, the thing is, these stats are probably inflated a little bit by the bottom teams, but they do go in the playoffs. And they get second. So look at stage one playoffs. All right, so Optic gets second. It seems like the key to their victory was when Damon played well, right? So Damon gets a 1.1 KD overall, 1.0 KD in, in HP, positive KD in S&D, 1.39 CTF. Like, he was the one who can propel this team to be a championship team, right? So he, being honest, he was underperforming in all these open events, and he performed here, and they got second, and they should have won. They were by far the best team. They choked. They should have won. Um, the numbers actually... In this case, do tell a story, whereas previously, they sometimes don't. Um, we'll move into Birmingham. So, at Birmingham, let me look at the placings here. Uh, excuse me. Bang. All right. Is it not on here? Okay, I just didn't list Birmingham. All right, well, if I remember correctly, hold on, let me let me actually just look, dude. I don't wanna I don't wanna see something without being hundred percent sure. Okay, so at Birmingham Optic gets fourth, right? Let me check their their statistics here. So they go. I don't think these are all the maps from Birmingham. Yeah, there's no way these are all the maps from Birmingham. So they get fourth there. Uh, it does not look too bad. Fourth's not that bad of a placing. I'm pretty sure they get 3 0 though. Smoked out of the tournament. Um, excuse me, sorry guys. Move on into Seattle. All right, so at Seattle, be sure we see them get this 13 through 16 place. All right now, now if if history repeats itself, the reason they got this placing is because Damon has a really bad tournament. His S and D KD is pretty bad. They're gonna have decent hard point. Their S and D is gonna be bad. I have not looked at this, so if I pull this up and it's wrong, I'm gonna look really stupid. But I have a feeling I'm right. Okay, so yeah, I'm right. Um, this is Seattle. Uh, Damon has a 0.91 overall. Not slaying. Uh, he has a point nine seven S and D, and he's two and three. They're two and three in S and D, and their hard point actually gets a lot worse here. And we could probably attribute this to them not practicing. Um, yeah, I mean it's been a common story. Uh, that I think in this game you need to have a slay heavy team, especially. Uh, their hard point's been good, so I, I think the slang really needs to come in in their CTF. It seems like they're losing a lot of their CTFs, and they're not good enough at search and destroy to 
have it be like a backbone. And they're not winning 100% of their hard points. So this team's all over the place, dude. Like, if I'm Optic, I'm 100% making a roster change. Like, even by the numbers, by everything, like, you have to make a change. So, to that note, the people who think that they shouldn't, this team does need to make a change. And if they don't, they're probably going to continue this trend, bouncing around 4th to 12th to 16th to 4th to 3rd, maybe a second when uh, they all kick up. But uh, it's something that's overdue at this point. And I kind of want to just break it down by the numbers and show you guys. Um, this is a really vague breakdown because we don't really know what's going on in the relationships to the team. But um, from the numbers, man, is a common trend that goes on whenever they lose. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to do this for a few other teams going forward. But I'm actually going to watch the maps. I just kind of wanted to look at stats just to see if they held merit in this situation, which they do. You guys are going to make sure you like thumbs up on this video. It's complete rambling. I'm exhausted. It's 7.30 a.m. But I was bored, man. You know? So leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Everybody have a good one. Peace.